people don't expect this because, like, who is Amber? Oh, she's a blonde cheerleader. Oh, okay. But Amber is actually my responsible child. She's my down-to-earth child. So let me tell you an Amber story. So when Amber was about, I don't know, five, six, she came up to me and she said, Daddy, Andrew said a naughty word. Really? And she says, yeah, Daddy. He said stupid. I also think that she has a lot of wisdom. She knows when to fight and she knows when to say, huh, it doesn't matter. I, I know who I am and I know the truth of what's going on and she doesn't need to engage with that. I mean, I'm trying not to make this about me. Calm as a cucumber. <laughs> you're adorable. Okay, you're right. to see your crew. Okay, grab your flag. You have this calm piece about you, and I think that that's really inspiring to me. I think that you're really a, a good leader and example in that. So I was thinking back, and we were kind of quite the troublemakers. A lot of these were us getting into trouble in various ways. My mom just got her wisdom teeth out. Salt water, saline solution. Of course, David, we want to stay healthy too. Well, if mom's doing that, we also got to do that. But he got a little bit of the details wrong. He used soap water instead of salt water. Instead of spraying it in my mouth, he put it up my nose. <laughs> and so I start screaming. And of course, he knows that when someone's screaming, you call 911. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> My brother is dying. So. <laughs> Full squad of police, fire, or ambulance. My mother was not happy about that, nor was my great grandma. But throughout all these times, uh, it has just been unmistakably himself. And I hope that you guys, everyone who's met him and knows him, definitely know that. It's more than just helping each other with simple instructions. It's more than syncing your Google calendars. It's more than those little things. If, if, if that's all communication is, then you could have the most well-planned out, boring marriage. Communicate beauty. Assurance, comfort, no matter what comes your way. How does the Bible end? It ends with a wedding, and interestingly, that's how it begins. It seems like a wedding like this one, between a man and a woman, is not the ultimate expression of what marriage means. Marriage, it seems, in the Bible, points to something even greater. It points to our relationship with God. That's what God's Word is all about. It's about a great big wedding, complete with a decked out bride and a giddy groom. <laughs> it's about two people getting to know each other, working things out, negotiating life, talking about dinners and diets and kids and schools and bathrooms and remodels and <laughs> life. It's about life and you guys gotta communicate. And 
And what's cool is that starting today, as you two settle down in your new home, you're gonna learn each other's idiosyncrasies, little habits you didn't know he had, new ones that he will develop soon. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna need to learn how to communicate, how to speak to one another, how to listen, how to negotiate, As I've been getting to know Amber and David and hanging out with them, uh, I can already tell from the get-go, they're on the same page. They agree. There's this kind of harmony. I just feel like you guys have this quiet, steadfast love that I really appreciate and I've seen over the years. I just wish you guys all, all the best in your pursuit of Christ, your pursuit of a family together, your discovery of your passion for life, your discovery for your purpose and what you guys want to build together, and just that you would have the same joy continue on in your relationship that I've seen you exhibit so much in the past. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully with his favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual blessing and grace that you may so live together in this life that in the world to come you may each have life everlasting. David, you may kiss the Lord. <laughs>